when I was really little, my mom and dad got me like, it's like a National Geographic projector. And it was like a movie of like whales and octopus and stuff like that. And I used to watch that on repeat nonstop every day. And I think that's kind of where it kind of fueled my passion for marine biology. Honestly, I've always loved sharks. Shark Week on Discovery. I don't know if you've ever watched that, but I've been watching that since I was really little. Shark Week was always just a special time for my whole entire family because I was so interested in it that we made a whole week of just hanging out and being interested in sharks, which is what I love to do. So, uh, With the biology department here, especially with, like I said, the size, uh, like the relationship I have with all the professors, especially Dr. Boyle, um, like I've, I'm from Lubbock, so a lot of my friends went to Texas Tech and they're in classes with 500 plus students. Meanwhile, I'm in my invert bio class with 12. And so we're all really close. We were able to work together on stuff, like help each other out. And I got to McMurray and it's super small and I come from a relatively small high school. So I was like, I definitely don't want to be in a big class of 400 students and my professor just doesn't care and I try to get help and I never can. So I definitely made the right choice with that. For example, Texas Tech, um, I had a friend, he was struggling in chemistry. But any time he emailed or talked to the professor, it took like weeks, days to get like the professor to answer him. Because it's not the professor's fault, but when you have 400 plus kids in a classroom, it's kind of hard to get to each and every one of them. Uh, but for example, if I email Dr. Boyle, I usually get a response within, within the hour, um, if not within, by, like by the end of the day. And it's like that with every professor, because with the smaller class sizes, um, you have a relationship with that professor that you, like, you can walk down the hallway and they'll, they'll know your name. I have really good relationships with every single one of my professors, whether it's majors or just a general ed class that I have to take. The fact that he got an opportunity like that and immediately thought of me and Mason really let me know that he cares. He's not just like, they're just students that go here. He really cares about our well-being and our future. I would love to go into like protection of marine mammals, so like dolphin, whales, porpoises, stuff like that. But honestly, if it's in the ocean, I'm happy with it. It's always been something I've wanted to do since I was about this tall. But I definitely want to get my PhD and just kind of do hands-on research with sharks and obviously their behaviors and look more into the species overall. Uh, the scholarships that McMurray offered me were unmatched by any other college. The initial price tag was pretty scary with it being a private but um, after all the scholarships, I'm paying less than a lot of my friends are going for big public schools. You kind of get to know everybody on campus. Even if you're not best friends with everybody, you'll probably just see them in the hallway all the time, wave. Same thing with your professors, they'll check in on you. I have previous professors that I have that will still stop me in the hallway and say, how are your classes going? You know, I hope you're doing okay. So. It's, it's really about size is what it boils down to and how much attention your professors can pay to you specifically and not just you as a number. The relationship that you have with your professors is kind of unmatched anywhere else. I definitely knew that McMurray was the right place for me to be.